Hi, Scorpio. This is a message for Scorpio for the Sagittarius Full Moon 2024. We're going to start with the Violet Healing Fork. So let's just take a deep breath and begin. Beautiful. Mm. Ancestors, spirit, guides, what messages do you have for Scorpios for the full moon in Sagittarius 2024? What do we got here? Two of wands, seven of discs. Wow, and it almost just went flying off there. The emperor, and on the bottom we have nine of swords in... Um, the overarching energy. Well, there's a lot of Mars here. Okay. Mars here, Mars here. That's the um, ruling planet of the Aries house, which is um, the house of self, right? It really feels like you, you're um, trying to figure out, you're at a crossroads mo at this moment of which way to go. And it's really, um, it's almost, I feel like the way that you're handling how you're going to set forward in motion the next stage of your life how you're going to take control of the um the scenario here right is there's like this protective instinct protective energy that is being propelled by um anxiety right it's almost like see how it's got that apple and he's holding it tight right there and it's because he's worried that something might happen to it after putting all this work into something it's like you are in this space at a, at a crossroads um, where something new could be built and it's about this patience and taking the time of the patience but be careful that in that time you aren't sowing seeds of anxiety sowing seeds of distress right and being overprotective about um what it is that you're what it is that you're building there's a lot of aries energy here aries and scorpio generally work really well together two 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 because they um the original ruler of scorpio was mars but they didn't even know pluto existed right as a planet so um traditionally there were seven planets and the that ruled all the signs and mars was scorpionic energy right and it's that it's that idea of, um, say, like Aries is the ruler and um, because it's the ram and there's the single one and it climbs up to the top of the mountain and it can see over everything, right? The overseer. And then that idea of Scorpio being like numerous, right? Scorpions, um, numerous. And so they would be like the army, right? So they would be like the ruler and the army because it's Mars and he's the god of war, right? He's, so that's that's how that dichotomy kind of goes about. There's like this this need for clearing the space right now in this um, Sagittarian full moon energy, really addressing what it is we need versus what it is that we want, releasing things that are keeping us constricted. And it feels like during this moment of time, um, focus on, it's telling you, focus on what you're investing in, focus and be patient because um, the seeds grow at night, the seeds grow in the dark, right? And so that um, crossroads that you're at, that thing that you're worrying about, it's almost like there is a solution. It could be someone like big boss energy. It could be you bossing up and taking the lead, taking control. And we have a uh, perception, right? It's all in a matter of how we're seeing things, how things are being perceived. And so if we're looking at things in a, in a, fearful mindset it's going to amplify that anxiety right and that's what i'm saying don't plant seeds of anxiety take that moment for your new beginning what it you know stand firm in that investment just keep seeing this like night and day keep hearing night and day and um burden right the stress is really weighing weighing it down and so this says stripping illusions on the bottom. Wow, stripping illusions. Are you worrying for worrying worry's sake? Are you worrying because you're trying to cover all your bases before something happens? You know, mitigate things. And um, it's a matter of the perception. Don't carry these burdens into your new into your new world or to take control over the situation and be in power of yourself be the big boss energy of yourself you're carrying around things that you might not need to um, worry about 
right? And that's what it's talking about. Strip away those illusions and get real with the with the real real. And you get, wow, delight and heart chakra. And delight just fell down on top of burden. It's like, let go of that, right? Focus on the things that you want to bring in. Heart chakra, the frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Unconditionally, its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. And delight, the frequency of delight supports our capacity to create exper and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others, right? So it's like it's like feeling like worrying for worrying's sake because uh, you've already waited on some like planted a seed and you're waiting for it to grow. So in the meantime, rather than worry, rather than let the anxieties get to you, it's telling you to embrace the joy to. Um, let yourself be joyful. Wow, Chris Acola. <laughs> be your own mama. Anyway, here's that fathering energy. Right? It's very parental here. Um, Chris Acola forms near copper uh, forms near copper or deposits. Hence its wavy blue-green swirls left behind by the oxidized metal. Like other materials associated with copper, think telephone wires. Chrysocola opens up channels to, of clear communication. Who needs it? Anyone entangled in the 24-7 fear cycle propagated by the political media complex and those who can never find the right words. Where to put it? Hold it high on your heart and breathe. When to use it when you feel small and vulnerable and are looking for someone to parent you. But when then you remember that you are a grown up and it's cool because you totally got this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got this. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time.